This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Nevada Sunrise Gold, Mr. Warren Stanier. Warren, overdue for a catch up. And I know, like many shareholders, I have some questions. So it's great to have you back on. How are you today? I'm great. I got up with the sunrise. So it was it was just one of those days, you know, the summer makes you wake up earlier. It's yeah. awesome. Absolutely. Let's be, uh, as always, let's be frank. You know, the share price has pulled back. Uh, as a bias shareholder, I don't really care. I, I, I didn't write a check at three cents and five cents and 10 cents and 20 cents and, you know, 30 cents a few years ago um, to make a couple of pennies. But obviously, there's people that are newer to the market or people, frankly, that are trading the stock that are concerned when they see a stock reaching a, a 52 week high of, you know, 36, 37 cents and then have it pull back to the 20 cent, 19, 18 cent level. Um, you had some news today that I think is going to be the beginning of consistent news flow for the, the the rest of the second half of this year. You received initial geophysical survey results from the 100% owned Gemini Lithium Project in Nevada. It's a new lithium discovery. No one's ever drilled for lithium in this part of Nevada. It's an exciting discovery. Um, give me the context. Provide the context. Tell me what you're seeing. Well, what we see in the geophysics on the new lines, we're definitely seeing conductive horizons. Uh, the, the one challenge we have right now is matching the 2016 data, which was from two separate contractors, and the 2022 data, which is from one of those two contractors. What's happened in the last six years, there's changes in the modeling uh, protocols, in, in the coding. This is how it's explained to me. So. It took us a bit longer than we expected, and we're still working on them. But what we do see so far is that there's near the holes one and two that the adjacent line that you can see on the diagram that was put out today to the west, the north-south line to the west, you can clearly see the conductivity on that line. So those lines are about, I'm just looking at the scale bar here, about a kilometer apart, a thousand meters. So, you know, 1100 yards or so. So we're, we're very happy with that. And all the way down the line, you can see the conductivity. We just want it to mesh better into uh, the model. And we may have to do some additional infill lines to really flesh it out. But certainly we've got enough confidence here for future drill targets. And, and that's what we're about to submit to the uh, Bureau of Land Management. You're slowly but surely adding potential scale to this new discovery right and and again it's early on you're doing that through the geophysics with conductive zones that are interpreted to be clay layers but i i have to say as exciting as a a lithium bearing clay deposit is the potential for a lithium bearing brine deposit in this part of the world at this particular time um in 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 the world's history where everything is is, is going towards the electrification of everything, right? Um, I, I mean, your timing couldn't be better if you're able to discover a, a, a brine deposit of significance. How, how, how do you proceed? You mentioned the amendment. You mentioned upcoming drilling. We know we're all excited for that. We just raised some money here recently um, to kind of get us there. What comes next, Warren? So the amendment to the notice of intent to drill goes into the BLM. Um, what will happen after that there's going to be an adjustment to our bond, which they will calculate. My guess is it, it's going to nearly double. So then to about $20,000, it's a reclamation bond so that BLM is protected and, and the United States government is protected if somebody walks away and doesn't clean up their drill sites and any trails that they built. And you have to reseed and do all these things. It takes a long time to, to actually get your money back because uh, we're sowing grass in the desert. So you can only really do that in November, and you hope that it takes. So that's what the bonding is about. So amendment, bond, drilling contractor. So today I had a conversation with a drilling contractor that we had used six years ago, and they're a major company. And I heard what I hope to hear, that this contraction that we see, which you referred to you know, in our share price, and you just look around, there's a lot of people in the same position where, you know, the highs that we had in April are, are suddenly, you know, shot down in May or, or June in this case. 
Uh, but those those factors are influencing the number of drills and crews available. The cost of diesel was mentioned that people are cutting back on the size of their programs. They're not going to do as many meters or drill for as long. So, so what I had hoped was that we could have a drill signed up in, for August or September, and I'm pretty pretty confident that's going to happen because of what all the factors that are affecting our business right now. So luckily we're hoping for drilling in mid to late August. Sounds like early, early September at the very latest. So fingers crossed for mid to late August. That's just a month away and that'll go quick with the summer being here. Um, let I, I, I want to provide a, a, a conservative, but also a, a, a hopeful view on what you're hoping to define here with this next round of drilling, Warren? Well, certainly we will, I'm certain we will hit clay. What we want to do is get below it. And one of the limitations on our first program, literally when you're pioneering, you don't know what to expect. You don't know how deep anything is, what you're going to find. The drill that we had was capable of getting to say a thousand feet or 1200 feet, but after that, it gets very tiresome and slow. Uh, that's why we're going for a more powerful drill that can maybe drill faster and drill deeper. So we believe that there could be brines below that 1,000-foot, 1,200-foot level that we just got a piece of in our first two drill holes. So that's the, that's the quest. See how much clay there is, certainly, but get through it and see what's below it. The that, water. Yeah, that would be an absolute game changer, right? Mm-hmm. Because, well, direct lithium extraction, it's a small footprint. It's attractive uh, to, you know, in the in the ESG world that, that we're in. Um, plus, we have that solar energy zone right next door. So there's an un, practically unlimited amount of power. And for Nevada, for solar energy, it's got to be one of the best places in the world. I, I would guess it's it's sunny at least 300 days a year. So put all those things together, small footprint, availability of electricity, and yeah, it could get very exciting. And that's why we're going out to drill some more. How's the infrastructure, Warren? Oh, I'm looking at the map. <laughs> I mean, the roads go through it. Like There's roads everywhere. There's roads, there's power, it's Nevada. Um, there's a potential for a brine deposit of significance. That, that, that's, you know, we'll wait and see on that. We definitely have a clay deposit that seems to be significant. You have a tiny market cap and you also still have 20% of Kinsley Mountain, which again is a another project, a gold project, which I really like. That'll see some pretty significant drilling in the second half of this year. Warren, anything to add to that? I know there's also a couple of other lithium projects in the portfolio that I frankly don't even want to get into yet because I, I, I sense there will be a, a more informed conversation to be had after this round of drilling as to the strategy there. But is there anything else that you'd like to add to our conversation today? Well, Jackson Wash is to the north. Uh, we really haven't done that much work on it. There was a hole drilled there five years ago that hit fresh water even below 2,000 feet. So we think that could help us in the future for uh, – the water allocations that are present in the Lida Valley. Uh, so we're working on that in the background. Uh, as I've mentioned before, the whole area is blanket staked. So it'll be interesting to see what companies emerge and with what claims and what they intend to do, the people that surround us. So that'll be, that's of interest to me because right now I, I don't know. And, and again, just to kind of wrap it up here, Gemini has a, water right that is going to be i suspect very valuable and strategic in the future well certainly it, it helps your development at the early stages of development we have enough water to do that so the next stage is to get more water warren sounds like an exciting second half of the year i can't wait for the drills to turn i'm looking forward to the 3d model from the geophysics i understand you know, that obviously hasn't been an issue of you're not seeing the results that you want. It's been more or less supply chain delays with people traveling in the summertime, as with everything else. Would that be an accurate assessment there? Absolutely. And just a smaller company that all their people are stretched to the limit. So, you know, we're getting what we can and they're working on it. 
the processing is ongoing, just as I said today. Perfect. We'll chat soon. Thank you again for the update. Thank you, Gerardo. Hey, everybody. Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.